X recently, Sebastian Louisville, Kentucky was able to take it to fourth place. He was able to get top four with it. I've played the deck a lot. I think I understand it. It needs Ionos, it needs the shuffling. We, kn we now know why Unfair Stamp is used over Prime Catcher, so I think we should jump in and discuss this together. So without further ado, guys, let's jump in and talk about the deck right here. So here's the Sebastian's 60 list. It's a pretty risky list, running very small numbers. We've tested it out a lot. There's a couple of questions I have about it. We still don't know a couple of things, why the decisions were made in them. But besides that, I think we figured out most of the deck and we're gonna try to emulate something to perfection. We have a challenge coming up. We're gonna try to perfect it. And we're also gonna look at his stream to see how he played to try to perfect our first turn and second turns and then also we're gonna try to play the game so let's ch check it out guys so we'll start off with understanding the simple stuff mist energy really mist energy is only there for the roaring moon matchup also it's all it's there for devolution so tm devolution cannot hurt mist energy and cannot hurt your charmeleon over here so as long as you lock in Pidgeot EX in a certain turn and put some Mist Energy underneath it, it will still be able to attack with one Fire Energy, but it will never be able to TM Devote. So that's what Mist Energy is there for. I don't think Roaring Moon is big in the meta, but if it is big, you could maybe have a reason for a second Mist Energy, but the problem is Charizard EX does not utilize it well. He needs two Fire Energies to attack, Without the fire energies, he cannot attack. So, Mist Energy, you're locked in a playing one, and it's really there just to keep the Pidgeot EX safe. You could also put it on the Charizard EX if you want him to stay there for a long time, but it really is there for the Pidgeot EX. Now, a next uh, thing that I was wondering about that was clear as day here the unfair stamp. I was like, why did he not use the Prime Catchers? Prime Catchers are amazing. They're another great card that can do a lot. The Unfair Stamp is basically an amazing Iono, but it's so uh, restrictive. It's extremely restrictive that you need to get knocked out. So, and you need to basically, it's later on the mid or late game. And you need. Uh, a, basically a really bad hand to use it in because if you use it in a great hand you'll lose your hand it's kind of a weird card that sometimes you get knocked out but you don't want to use it but sometimes you do want to use it but you did not get knocked out it's such a weird ca uh, card so i didn't understand why you would use it i thought prime catcher was so much better so much more straightforward pull it out with arvin whenever necessary and you can do so much amazing combos with it still be able to get a boss basically even though you played an arvin but now we finally understand what the unfair stamp is. Charizard DX is not a competitive deck without Iono abilities. If you cannot Iono a lot and Iono your opponent out of a second or a third attacker, you are going to just lose the game. There are other cards and other decks that are so much more combo -er than you. They can pull off so much amazing combos and pull off uh, techniques and strategies that can really beat any deck. So the idea that you just let them go awry, yeah, you can prime catcher their attacker, but they're already setting up another one. And also because Ogre Pawn is huge in the meta now and it's a direct counter to the Charizard, it's very easy to pull off the Ogre Pawns as well, you literally just have to just have them there one turn early, which is what the Ogre Pawn does. It sits there as a supporter, has one energy, and then whenever the opponent kills your starter Pokemon, you just pull it forward and kill their Charizard, and you can play with your Ogre Pawns. So Charizard's been completely countered. You cannot play a normal Charizard game, which is why he's actually running this only at two. You have to run... A weird game where you're knocking out smaller prizes and you're literally sh uh, shutting down the game from the opponent not letting him play at all and we're actually gonna see the stream here in a second guys but as you can see that's what the unfair stamp is doing it's basically I you know you can also run three Iono unfair stamp 
but I don't think counter uh, prime catchers actually doable. And that's where Turo comes from. Because you're not running prime catcher, because the opponent can lock you in, in spots that you cannot switch out of, that's what Turo is necessary for. So now we're understanding the deck a lot more. Uh, Thornton is there just to kind of bring back maybe a Duskull later on or a Radiant Charizard. And also, this lineup of the 2-2 boss Iono is almost perfect in any deck. You will see a lot of decks running this. So the deck is amazing, it's perfect. One thing you could change out is maybe Nest Ball play... Um, you could get rid of the Nest Ball for... I was thinking about it earlier. Or Research. A Research would be great, being able to bring it out with the Luminion. Be amazing, can fix out a lot of your early hands. And uh, you can also get rid of that two row for something, but two row is just so hard because you will get locked out in some um, lock-in control matchups, and that's what there's uh, that's for. Now the two dust no one will tell me what that's for. I guess you can have one in the I guess in the Dragapult matchup, it's extremely necessary to go into a dust noir early, and that's what that's for. And the Kalefa. Uh, is just there. A lot of people don't like it. I can't find a really good explanation for it. But now, guys, I have the game for you. Let's jump in and watch a little bit of the game. We're just going to watch how Sebastian... Look how pretty he is. Gonna, both of the players are very pretty, actually. White boys, man. <laughs> hey, don't call me racist, guys. But listen... They have good genetics, man. That's all I gotta say. That's why, like, the Syrian blood that's real. Anyways, so B B Benjamin versus Sebastian. Great start here, guys. We're gonna just watch the beginning. Both of them have amazing records. 10-1-1. Strong decks. Strong decks. Absolutely in unbelievably strong. I'm, I'm back here, boys. I All I want to watch is really the beginning of these games i want to watch how sebastian likes to start oh unfair stamp is in there it's gonna be a tough game i want to watch how sebastian starts how is a good uh, starting hand looking like and let's watch so he does have that radiant charizard early on that's a really bad start you don't want to ever have radiant charizard early on in your hand that's not what you want because radiant charizard is so useless at least didn't bench it uh, now he's gonna go for the rotom He's going to count everything, but he needs to also know if he can actually get a, a Forcia Stone. So the Forcia Stone is there, and there he is. He's sitting there counting out everything. Interesting strategy that Sebastian is going with, counting out everything. The prizes for Sebastian are not horrible. He is, I guess that's what the two Duskulls are for. Now we know it because he's literally benched one. Now my question is, is he going to be able to pull off a double buff uh, Poffin? Because that's what he wants. I don't think he has a Poffin. No, he has, he's supposed to put the Rotom down. No Poffin, rare candies in hand. If he loses this Charmander, he's pretty much screwed. But there it is. So this is my question. Against a Regidrago, I... I think it's safer for Charizard to go first, and I think... I'm not sure if Sebastian actually opted to go first or not, but maybe that would be huge. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do as Charizard. You're supposed to be going first now, because it keeps you safe from those Regidrago attacks. If you let Regidrago go first, he's just going to be popped off, and he's going to be able to kill off your, bo all bo your whole board. Whereas if you go first, all you really need is a Pidgey Charmander, and as long as you can guarantee those... You're pretty much happy. Next turn, you'll be able to Arvin in for a uh, four seal stone, rare candy, and just pop off. So I think that's what you're supposed to do in this game, in this meta right now, where it's very hard to get that first attack. I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go first as Charizard. So now, I do want to see how his second turn is gonna look like. Let's look here really quickly, guys. There it is. The second turn for the Charizard is going to be... Okay, the guy's still playing. I said Regidrago. Tough, tough matchup for Char Charmander because 
So that's how you actually combat Regidrago, because if he was going second, he would have already been destroyed completely. Now Sebastian has access to all his Pokemon, because he has the Pidgeot, which will get him... I think he has another Rare Candy, so he really doesn't need anything except the Buddy Poffman to get more units out onto the board, so... <laughs> I guess people are very happy because Pidgeot has been played. Um, Buddy Poffin is played here. Duskull is out now to deal with the Regidrago at 280. And then, wow. I mean, yeah, going first. Going first is so great, especially while you have Rotom. Oh, man, yeah, it's so great. And the opponents almost forced the Iono, and it's really bad to Iono turn one, right? If nobody wants to get Iono, like, nobody wants to Iono themselves at turn one, no one. I mean, you might have a really bad hand. Now, this is interesting. He leaves the Duskala forwards, I guess, for... Because he can get a KO because he's not hitting the numbers he needs to hit. And now we see why Duskull is so important, because you need to hit certain numbers. So just leaves the little skull there and then passes. So he doesn't even use his four seal stone. So I want to know how he loses this game. Let's get to the end. He actually doesn't lose. He actually wins this game. Because you need to keep Iono, right? I think that's what he's doing. Now, he did lose his whole board. I guess the Reggie Drago attacked him in a way that... My bad boy is breaking my back here. Reggie Drago attacked him in a way that pulled him out. And yeah, so the guy locked him in. Ionoed him. He's activated his own Charmander. Now he's pulled out of Felicity. Kills the Felicity. Yeah, this is the only way you can really deal with the Rage Drug. You need to Iono him out of the game completely. Keep uh, and he hasn't used Unfair Stamp yet. Oh well, I mean he just picked it up. That's it. Rage Drago concedes. Doesn't have the fire energy he needs to attack, so he just conceded. Be a little bit rough. Let's see how he deals with going second. I think it's gonna be a little bit scary on the Charizard here. Wait, he has everything he needs, but it's still scary. I mean, wow, look how amazing this hand is. I mean, this is a is a fantastic going second hand. I mean, oh my god. That's one of his Charizards. He doesn't ha he doesn't have any ability to get a second Charizard unlocked. Yikes. Okay, he's counting his units. Gets the Dusko Charmander. He has another Charmander in hand and then Nest Balls in the Rotom, right? Yep. And then Rotom... Are you activating Arvin this turn? I don't think you activate Arvin this turn. Oh, you do? No, he had four seal stone already. Bro, he's been locked in on those four seal stones. <clears throat> Another buddy Poffin in hand? That's crazy. That's crazy. He could have activated it. Wait a minute, he didn't... Oh, maybe he doesn't have a third uh, Charmander. Maybe he literally doesn't have a third... No, 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 he has to have a third Charmander. He didn't prize one. So that means he didn't activate it on purpose. Let's see if it hurts him. Regis Drago is going to be able to attack, right? Okay, Teal Dance is crazy, bro. Teal Dance is crazy. So much blessing. Get an energy and a draw. So much blessing, bro. Fizzendivity is amazing. Not right now, though. What you need is a hoot hoot, a night owl. Night owl is what you need right now. 
Literally, this is the turn you need Night Owl in right now. And you have an Ultra Ball. I mean, he needs a... Okay, there's the Apex. Okay, so he's going to get the Fire Energy he needs. And the thing is, he can pick up anything he wants in his whole trash can, which is insane. It's amazing. <laughs> this ability is so broken. Well, yeah, I mean, pretty much that's what you do every single time. You pick up one energy and one energy switch. You could also pick up maybe bad scenarios, canceling colognes, I guess. Oh my god, there it is. Empties the board with the Kirim. Is Sebastian losing here? See, this is why Manaphy is actually necessary. Sebastian is actually shaking. Wow. But he feels really distraught. Because he knew he could have played a Buddy Poffin to get a Manaphy out and it would have stopped it. But he doesn't run Manaphys. He run two Duskulls instead. So I think I think that's how he loses this tournament, right? Faces the freaking Kirims. Yeah, look, he's literally shaking. He's like stumbling his cards now. I guess the Charizard is active. No, it's not. He needs one more card. Can't even Charizard then. This is horrible. He had a Buddy Poffin in hand too. He could have literally... Oh, this is so disheartening. And he, and he had a third Charmander. This is so bad. The thing is... The Rage Drago is kind of slow now. He doesn't have any energy. So if the Rage Drago misses a turn. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he should be fine, I think, still. Unfair Stamp is great. Great right now. Perfect. Can, can Sebastian actually come back from this? This is amazing. Let's see if he comes back. On first time, the Dusk Noir to kill the Hoot Hoot takes out a prize. Defiance Band, unfair stamp. There it is now! The, the Charizard's active! And it has Defiance Band! <laughs> what? Is he coming back? No, I mean, I mean, yeah, maybe. Especially with the unfair stamp, that's how you come back, right? Holy moly. Can Sebastian actually make it happen? If he does, he's a genius. Because he's coming back from so far away. He didn't have to... If he only ran Manaphy, he didn't have to... <laughs> I think we run Manaphy. I honestly, I'm not joking, guys. This is too scary. Shuts him down. Locks him out of the game. Can't move at all, and then knocks out his Rage Drago V Star. He needs so much. He needs a V Star energy switch. He needs. A, 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 he doesn't need too much. He needs an Earthen Vessel, an energy switch, and a Fire Energy. Really, is all he needs. Doesn't have any of that. Oh, does have a Fizzentivity though. There it is. First thing we have to activate, and the only thing we have is the Fizzentivity. What do we drop? Okay, Earthen Vessel! Wow. 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 Earthen Vessel is exactly what we need here. Earthen Vessel. Now all we need is an energy switch and a fire energy. All we need is two energy switches and a fire energy. <laughs> we need too much stuff. No, 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 no. This Rage Dragon literally cannot attack. But also this Charizard cannot attack either. I'm loving how Sebastian came back into this game by evoing his Dusk Noir. He was able to actually attack with the Charizard. Before that, he couldn't. This is genius. The problem is he's also locked out of the game right now. There it is. First steal down. I mean, he's drawing too many. Okay, there it is. He actually drew his Earthen Vessels and his Fire Energy. He literally is only missing one Energy Switch. Is there... Or two Energy Switch... I mean, he... Because he has his V-Star in his hand. He has an Ultra Ball. So he's literally just missing an energy switch or two. Wow, he literally got all the pieces he needed. That's crazy. It's scary to play against these guys, man. These guys are world level, high level champions. Okay, let's see here. Wow, 
Researches it up. Wow. He got a research, guys. Holy moly. He got everything he needed. No energy switches, though. Does it have the knocked out? Oh, no, 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 Because the hoot hoot is dead. Dang. Is he stuck? I mean, he does have one more turn. He, he's okay. He can't nest ball anything. He can't actually search his deck for it. Oh, no, no collapse stadium. He's right. You're right. He can't. Is there anything he can draw with? Nothing. Yeah, he can't even play anything out. Dang it, he wanted another Ogre Pond to draw one more. Cancel Cologne, shuts him down. This is where Prime Catcher is kind of cool, because you can st attack again with the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to attack again with this Charizard. Tour is also cool here. Okay, we draw in... What are we top decking? Briar? Holy shoot. If we can unlock an attack here, we win the game. The problem is we need... Yeah! Because this is a Rage, Rage Drago V. If we can literally get a rare candy... No, we don't have a rare candy. Do we have a... For... Do we have a V-Star? We have V-Star, right? <gasps> we have V-Star! Let's go! He's gonna win the game! No, he doesn't... He can't, he can't. It's a Rage Drago V. Oh my god, he can. Can he? <gasps> What a monster! What a beast! Dude got Kirimmed! Look at dude's face! He's like, this is why I don't run Manaphy! Bro, he's the only one that cannot run Manaphy and still win the game. Holy moly! I can't believe what I just saw. Bro, these guys literally draw the card they need, the perfect... <laughs> it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Un I'm in shocks. Alright, man, so let's see how we can do against this Charizard... ...versus... ...something. Okay, going first is not horrible, guys. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's really not. Is it Charizard versus Charizard? That would make sense. Oof, fine friend. What am I gonna do with that? I guess we go Rotom here. They have the four seal stone, so Rotom's fine. Yeah, we Rotom into a Pidgey. He can't kill us. We're fine here. He could Iono us though. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I mean, I do have a... Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. So going first actually with Charizard feels amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Going first feels amazing. Like, honestly, look at my hand, it's amazing. All I needed was one body coffin, which was two nest balls, and I'm active. And going first is so safe because nothing can KO you. Now I have a body coffin, so I'll set up my another Charmander and my Dusko so we can start attacking. I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do Charmander PG into Dusko Charmander. And we're active, boys, we're so active here. No, I could get the first KO somehow. Let me see, can I? Yeah, I could Luminion. No, I can't Luminion because I need to... No, I can't really get that kill. We don't run Prime Catcher. We ran Prime Catcher, maybe. So I can't lost Vacuum that. 
Yeah, but I need every single card in here. Okay, let's just start like this. We start with a Duskull Charmander. I need to kill this Charmander or Pidgey. Arvin cannot do this. I can't, there's nothing I can do. I can't kill him. Uh, not with these cards. Unless I get another, no, I can't. Cause I need the... Uh... I can't do it. I can't throw the fine band either. Can't throw Charmeleon. Yeah, we'll throw the tough, 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 tough hand, tough, a very tiny hand. Go for the PG. Evo the PG. Uh, Arvin in. If I had Prime Catcher. We could un. No, we can't on first stamp. Could I Ionu? But that's six new cards. I mean, he could unlock himself anyway, so I don't know. I guess we're going to be taking the first hit here. Damn, we're going to have to lose on this. Quick search. Could V Star another rare candy? Yeah, let's get rid of that horse steel stone. Okay, there we are. We're fine now. No, he. I'm shook. Holy sh Why would I throw my only rare candy if I, if I knew? That's crazy! <laughs> I only <laughs> I threw my super rare candy. 
That's crazy! I'm so shook right now. He can kill my Charmeleon. Yes, he can. Can I get a rare candy out of this? screwed now the whole game is screwed for me now <sighs> what a trash game man what the fuck, man? This is insane! If he kills uh, that Charmander, I lose the game, right? That's not horrible. That's actually not horrible. It is kind of horrible, though. Because I need to kill this Charmander. Or I could just... Iono, right? I also... Yeah, there's the Iono. Okay. I just have to Iono him. Alright, let's see here. Um... Can we do anything with this? Um, fifty here. If we can't get Defiance Band, we'll go for the 50 damage, but I think we have the Defiance Band. 
<laughs> we don't. We don't actually have the capacity. He gets one, I get one. But I can't use mine anymore, even if I get a rare candy. This is safe from getting knocked out by the skull. This won't get no, no, I can't place this down. Okay, let's do it. So that's the 330 right there. Let's see if we win the game. Because we gave him. Oh, you no. Does he get a rare candy? Okay, there it says Arvin. Can't get a four seal stone, but can I get a rare candy? And if he has an ultra ball, can get him the Charmander. And he has enough energy. There is an unfair stamp. Doesn't really. The Defines Band is necessary. If he gets the Charmander, Charizard rare of candy here. It's crazy. Because then he unfair stamps me out of the game. He already got the defiance band, so he's winning here. Rare can uh, energy. No rare candy. We won the game. Let's go. Good game, baby. Can you believe it? Nice try. Nice try! Not with this hand. Yikes. Not with this hand. Nobody popping no nest ball? No ultra ball? I'll take an ultra ball. Dang. Should have went second with this hand. Horrible. Ooh, okie dokie. Ooh, nice body pop that saved us. Absolutely saved us. Can okie dokie kill me in turn one? Yeah, but I can't draw anything. I can't do anything, I can't attack anything. Maybe I should attach. But I wanna attach the mist. Can Ohi Dogi actually kill me? Yeah, I mean he could activate no now he can. I mean I guess if he if he dark patches. Wait, what? 
He only drew four. <laughs> His hand was so bad. I guess this is why Okie Doggy is a bad deck, because the guys that play it are bad people. Literally shuffled his ball hand in the deck. I need to get my own Rotom. I can't play the game. Yeah, I need Rotom because then I might get... A, if I get an Arvin, we might act be activated. If we draw into an Arvin, we might active. We might activate. Bad hand, bad hand. It's okay. We still keep the Lost Vacuum. Lost Vacuum is so good against Raging Bull. Check out, put two more counters on Poison, non dark Pokemon. Dang, that's gonna hurt. Five more damage counters as long as this Pokemon is in the active. That's crazy. He gets another Okidogi? No, a Blue Bunny. Now we're both Pokemon. If I draw into an Arvin here, we're safe. Okay, he gets a switch potentially. Switch out. And he gets a force seal stone. No, he got a nest ball in the capsule. Interesting. Now he can poison us. There's a picture around so he can sub subjugate us. Poison the Okie Doggy. Oh no, he's just gonna KO my Pidgey like that. Nice. That's pretty safe way to KO the Pidgey. Why can't I use this? Oh, because it, it, I, it wasn't knocked down during my opponent's turn. Okay, there's the Arvin. Finally, okay, we're unlocked. We're unlocked. We're fine, guys. We're safe. We're safe. So. already kills us here. We need to kill the Okie Doggy. I should have also got rid of this jungle, I forgot about it. But he, he kills us no matter what anyway. I need to kill the Okie Doggy. Yeah, that Okie Doggy can kill us. He can draw while killing me. It's amazing. There we are, we're unlocked now. So now we need four seal stone into ultra. Why can't I unfair stamp anymore? Oh, 
Oh, because none of my Pokemon are getting knocked out. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, we'll get the Pidgey. What an interesting deck. We'll quick search. It's 250. So I still need a Defiant fan. I think I could do the uh, Academy in here. We'll give one to here. We're kind of cool with losing this because we can just restart whatever we need. This is cool. Doggy, come on, come here, come here, doggy. Come here, doggy. We know you want to come out. Come here, doggy. So once he kills us, we unfair stamp him, and it's game over from there. We shouldn't be able to play the game after that. Yeah, secret box is gonna screw him. That's not game over for us. Not yet. Not close. But I guess we do need energy. Did we not get knocked out again? Are you kidding me? We didn't get knocked out again? Holy moly, he got a loop a hole around the unfair stamp. Wow, he has a loophole around it. He never kills all us. Now if I can kill this, we win the game. We should be able to kill it, right? No, yeah, we do, we do, we can, we can. <laughs> All we have is three, four energy, five energy. Yeah, we only have three. We have a third Charizard, so we're gonna be fine. Candy though. He can't KO us though, right? I don't see anything that could KO us.
Okay, we'll keep that one energy in there. Let's see what we can do out of this. So that's a key, all right. I don't think he can KO us out of it. We have the Duskull to get a KO potentially, but we do need a rare candy. Can we get it? There we are. Okay, we can we can get a Duskull KO next turn into a Penchurin KO and win the game with the boss. As long as he doesn't Iona us, we have a game in hand. He does have four Seal Stone. Interesting. 60 times 4 is 240. 240. No. It's only gonna do much less than that. And if he brings it forward, then it makes our game much easier. I don't even have to go with the boss. He needs to Iono me or this game over. Also, this is not active yet. That's the thing about this deck, it can steal games. I have two ways to win right now, Briar or Dusclops. And they're both in my hand. Briar, uh, Rare Candy, uh, Briar, uh, Counter Catcher, and Dusclops. What is this? What's he doing? There is the subjugating chains around here. So he's gonna do five extra damage. No, only three extra damage. Okay, cool. So we can do a Briar. So we don't have to even move. We just scale him with a Briar. He just brought him. <laughs> okay, though, he's a cool deck, man. But our Charizard is just too good, man. We just do... The Briar just breaks the deck. It just makes it broken. 